welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my Adri room and this tour has been anticipated for quite some time now and I am excited for how it turned out. So I hope you are excited to see it. Now I am wanting to add more shelving and stuff but that's not gonna happen until we move just finances and stuff. Um, but other than that, I am really excited for how this all turned out and I can't wait to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So this is the door that you walk into whenever you are coming into my Adri room. Nothing too eccentric, it's very blank right now, but that will change, hopefully. Going into my room, we have right here my play mat, and I just have this um, white basket to hold some blankies and my stuffies, some of them. And over there on the other side of my play mat is just butterscotch blue and quagsire, another blankie, and of course the play mat itself. On the other side of the playmat, I have my little Calico Critter town still set up. There's the big house, there's another big house that I just combined, and then there's the shops. And the bakery is kind of under a reconstruction right now. I accidentally knocked it over and everything fell, so I have to redo that. Um, but other than that, there's the little Calico Critter house, or town. <laughs> Over top of my play mat, I just have this Hello Kitty poster, nothing too crazy. Um, I do want to hang up like a tapestry for like a background to make it more appealing, um, but right now it's just this poster. Coming off of my Calico Critter Village is a fan and then my Barbie house. So this is in fact a Barbie dream house, but I am currently using it for my Monster High dolls. And back behind it, I just have um, a tote with a blanket covering it. And that tote is full of other Monster High dolls and their accessories. Um, so if I want to play with it, then I can just take it out whenever I feel I want to. This is probably my most favorite part of the whole room and I, on top of this tealish, greenish tote, oh let me move you guys a little bit, there we go, um, on top of this tealish tote I just have Puddles in his diaper and I've kind of made this into like a fake changing table for my um, stuffies so like whenever I'm getting changed they can get changed and this is just his onesie that he's about to get put back into and in this tote basket in this basket I just have um, these huggy wipes some talc free baby powder that's very important for us uh, babies with <laughs> princess parts um, because talc can cause ovarian cancer, if you do not know. And this is pure cornstarch, so all good here. And then there's just some more baby wipes, and then I just have some of these Minnie Mouse napkins. In the teal, um, drawers, oh gosh, okay. So in this stack, it's just, it's nothing but Little King's, um, two, four six little kings and i have four more coming in the mail because i got two more sample packs and then i got a sample pack of the cushies i really wanted to try the cushies um they feel nice just from the touch of them and um, i thought they were a really cute babyish design I got four more of the Alpha Gators, which I am very excited for because I love the Alpha Gators. Um, they're a really nice dip to have because, yeah, so I do gotta try the cushies though. So enough of that drawer. The next drawer I have 
some bunny hops. I actually got four of them and I think the only two designs are the this purple one and then this blue one. But I think those are the two designs that they have for the bunny hops and I'm very excited because of the fact that they have bunnies all over it and it only makes sense if I have me on my diaper. <laughs> And then these are just some extra ones. I have one peekaboo left, one little paws, and one kiddo left. In the very bottom drawer in this room, I just have some onesies of mine. And then I just have some skirts and some this tutu. Um, of course, I do have more onesies somewhere. I gotta find them. And then with the tutu and the skirt and stuff, I have more of those. I just need to find them as well. Before moving on to the next side of the room, I just wanted to show you guys what was in these drawers. Up in this one, it's just, um, this is more calico and honeybee furniture and stuff. And here we have a lot of Melissa and Doug stuff. We have my Winnie the Pooh train, a cookie set, and then my building blocks. And then over here, that's just an empty uh, Disney bag. In this next drawer we have some dolls. Inside of here is just my mini Lala Loopsies. And then we have the baby doll that I so graciously care for in a nice drawer. <laughs> and then here I have one uh, Na 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 doll and then I have three Lala Loopsie dolls. In the very bottom drawer we just have a ton of Build-A-Bear clothes. So shoes, wands uh, for uh, Hogwarts and then just some cute shirts, dresses, yeah. <laughs> so that's the Build-A-Bear drawer. Moving on over, so here this is used as my diaper bag. I don't really have anything in there yet um, just because I, don't, I didn't have enough diapers, but now I do so now I can throw stuff in there. Um, and then of course our router and modem fun fun so over here I have this shelf I'll get closer for you guys to see so on the top here I just have this book dividing organizer and inside I just have my flashcards and stuff this is a honey um, Winnie the Pooh jar inside it I just have some pins and fun stuff these are my passy containers going down this is one of the shelvings for my books and then this is another shelving for my books and um like a tongue and licky licky are so graciously protecting my books the next shelving has this um fun, fun shine bear type toy thing and he like has wheels and this is his stand um, this is like a jingle and crinkle toy and then there are my Winnie the Pooh baby books on the very bottom are my coloring books and some um, crams <laughs> and then right next to it I just have my Care Bear plushies and this one is still in the box just because it's all glittery and I don't want it to get ruined there's another care bear and so yeah this is my bookshelf up here which i think is very nicely organized as best as it can be <laughs> next over next to my bookshelf i actually have this brand new bluey house that i am beyond excited about so i actually got some extra like characters so like I got Snickers, Coco, Honey, and then I got some extra Bluey and Bingo ones. And then I got Muffin and Socks. There's Uncle Stripe, Uncle Rad, and Nan, and then Bluey and Bingo. And if you press this button, which is really fun. And then if you keep it on, like I think they randomly sporadically play like certain like phrases, like the one that goes after the song, it's Bluey saying something like for real life. And yeah, 
it's it's really cute um but yeah this is really fun to play in and definitely definitely happy that my daddy got this for me moving right along this is basically all of like my toy stuff like all of my toys so in this one it's just a bunch of like jingle toys and twinkle toys and it's a white basket just like that one over there this one is a pastel um, pink, yellow, blue, and green basket. Oh, I'm breaking it as we speak, but it's okay. I'll have to... It's a foldable basket. Oh, got it. Okay. And then here is one of my new toys. Here's another one. And then all inside here is basically just all fidget toys. So, like, it's just a crap ton. I have poppets. And then I have this thing. I have this uh, teether baby bottle thing. And then this squishy strawberry. This is like a squishy light. Um, so you actually like turn it on and it lights up, but it's broken right now. And then just some honey slime, some mochi, mushy things, some squishy noodles, and yeah, just fun. In this bin, it's kind of just a whole bunch of tiny things that I got from blind bags and um, just a ton of toys. I have like a bunch of Tsum Tsums and some My Little Pony toys um, and some keychains in here. Um, this bag is full of adorables. <laughs> These are like the little bags that you get and they have like little utensils on the inside. Um, these were a blind bag, so yeah, this whole entire thing is just mainly just made up of blind bags and all that fun stuff. So here is the final overview of my entire playroom, and I am just so excited to have this. It makes me feel so happy, and while it might, it might not seem like much, um, it definitely does a lot for me mentally, and I am so grateful for what I got. Well guys, I think that brings me to the end of this room tour. I know my camera was so shaky, and I am so sorry for that, but regardless, I hope the picture kind of came across the way that I wanted it to. Um, but overall, I'm just, I'm very excited to be showing this to you guys. And I want everyone to know that the only reason I'm showing this is because maybe this could give someone some ideas for their safe space. Um, or if like they just like the idea of some of the things that I had for uses, they might use it for that aspect or way or idea. <laughs> In no way, shape or form am I actually making this video to brag to anybody or to rub in anyone's face that I have all this stuff. That isn't what I want from these videos. It's mainly just for inspiration and it's to show you guys what you can make of your age aggression or what you can make of your little space if you just put your mind to it and if you just embrace it. And I don't have all the extravagant shelvings, I don't have the extravagant canopies or anything like that, but I just make what I have and I make it worthwhile and I make do. And if some plastic pastel shelving and a black shelving can make it better for me, then so be it. <laughs> well, I think that's the end of this video. Um, if you liked it, feel free to hit the like button down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button or that notification bell so you can see more of my face. And if you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to let feel free to comment them down below because I'd be willing to read about it. I said that all wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> Goodbye guys. <laughs>